Hello everyone, my name is Joshua and I'll be solving this day four count objects. Um, it's a problem from 10 days of JavaScript. Let's begin. So our goal is to complete the function where it has the parameter of A, where A is an array or a stack of objects. No, I don't want to say stack. It's, we had to be very specific with programming. It's a container of objects. Each object in the array has two integer properties. Um, I talked about in the previous tutorial what are properties in an object and they're called x and y and now we want to count the number of objects such that o dot x equals equals o dot y let's begin so this is an example um, these are all the objects right here this is one object two objects three objects all within that array we return two because one one and three three match this is how it looks like if you look into it as an array um, so how do we go through this so we're given an array of objects um, well, first, we want to count the number of instances where they match. So I think I want to have some sort of uh, tracker or some sort of denotion of how to tally how to tally these values. So let's just not call it tally. Screw it. Man, I use so many complex words. I can't think of the simple word. It just, it just annoys me. We use a for loop. Okay, this is a good refresher on what we learned so far. For loops is a way to iterate. Um, Especially, you might use a for loop if you know how many, how many, when, when is the end condition of going through a certain list or a bunch of properties. In this case, um, let's see here. I'll say let, um, let's see, number, yeah, I would just say number equals zero. Num keeps going until it's less than, this case, we want to go until we finish the whole array. So the length of that whole array, which is called objects and we go through them one at a time. We want to check the condition, the if condition here. Objects will index. This is how you index through an array. In this case, I just want um, the number of that, um, the corresponding respective object, and I want to check specifically the x property, and I want to compare that same object with its y property. And if it's the same, I'm going to increment that tally value. Now, I, once I finish iterating through that whole array, I'm going to return that tally. Let's run the code and see what happens. Oh my god, the suspense, man. Let's submit it and see if it works. Ah, sweet, test zero, don't keep me in suspense. All right, good. All right, guys, I hope you like my content. Please like and subscribe, and I think this is pretty straightforward. It's a great refresher of what I taught you already about objects, for loops, if else conditions, else if, and um, if you have any questions, please comment below. Um, and if you do comment something cool, I will love it and pin it to the top as a good way of how to solve it. Don't put some silly, you know, gibberish one-liner. I mean, I know many people are like, like to brag, like, I just did one line to solve this function. I don't know why you're doing a bunch of these lines. Remember, when you have a job, no one likes to see fancy spaghetti. They just want to see that po simple pasta and know what it is, like what's in it, you know? That's probably a horrible analogy. I'm just going to end this. <laughs>